I'm Chris from Tennis Warehouse and I'm here with WTA Pro Luisa Stefani and we're going to go through a little bit of strings and the reason why you like what you like and some of the changes you made over the years. So first tell us your string setup and tension. All right, so I use this Solinco Hyper G 125 and I've been using this forever, this setup, especially with the Radical NP. Um, I love how much control it gives me. I'm a devil's player, but I love serving and volleying coming into the net a lot. So I just love it because I feel very comfortable at the net with it and how much I can feel the ball at the net. And also it gives me enough control and power from both from the serves and from the baseline as well to come into the net. And then what tension do you go with your Hyper G? 46 pounds. Okay. Currently. And you used to be a little bit higher than that, right? Yeah, I used to be 54, um, maybe about a year and a half ago. And then I slowly started dropping it more and more. I think just because of getting more power, easy power with the racket and also a bit easier on the body. I think that was the main reason I started slowly. I was practicing a lot. I had, I was rehabbing for a year. I was a year out. So I'm like, this is the best time to try to go lower. And then I kind of got used to it. And now I maintain, I only slightly go up in altitude, but other than that, I just try to keep it lower. And if I can even go lower, maybe eventually I'll try as long as I still maintain control and enough power too. So Louisa, you brought up some good points there. You went down in tension to get more power and the string bed stiffness is really important. So the type of string we're using and the tension we're having our racket strung at is really gonna influence the performance of the racket. And a tighter tension, a stiffer string like the Hyper G at a higher tension is gonna give you a lot of control, but it's gonna take some more effort on your behalf as you were describing. Um, and you've got to supply a bit more of the power. Drop down in tension, we're going to get a softer response from the string bed, more pop, more power on our serves and our volleys and ground strokes, but um, we're going to have to supply the control a little bit. Now, have you tried different string types or have we always stayed with volley? I've always stayed with volley. Yeah. Okay. Um, I haven't changed much racket. I've used Radical MP for a long time. I've changed for about one year and a half or two years for the speed, actually, MP in college. Uh, I wanted to get more more speed actually, like more pop on the ball. And I really liked it for my serve, for my ground strokes. I felt like it was giving me a lot more, but I lost so much control at the net and my hands and, and I didn't feel comfortable with it. So I went back to this and just kept it since then. Now, if you were to put some like gut in your racket, you could go uh, full gut and that's gonna be the most powerful and comfortable setup you could get. Or you can hybrid it. A lot of players will hybrid something like Hyper G with some gut. Have you ever tried that? No, I haven't, but maybe I will. <laughs> okay, and that'll give you a little bit more pop. Um, and also uh, will soften up the string bed, add some comfort to your racket. Your racket has a 16-19 string pattern. So 16 mains, 19 crosses, mine's an 18-20. So even if our rackets were the same stiffness, just the fact that I have more strings in my racket, it's gonna make my string bed play a bit firmer, a bit more controlled. And then yours with the less strings, you're gonna get a bit loopier, a bit more launch and depth and pace on the ball out of that too. So string pattern is gonna influence the racket as well. Um, and I think that about wraps it up on a little string tutorial there. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. To influence the performance of your racket, be sure to head to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only. You can find a great selection of strings.